Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering my favorite head to toe moisturizers. Additionally, I'm going to let you know my favorite perfume scents to wear with those moisturizers. And then I'm also going to include a couple of my favorite sunscreens for face and body. And then also I have a couple of care creams or care lotions that I'm going to include. So it's going to be kind of an all encompassing video. I get random questions about favorite hand moisturizer or my favorite perfume or my favorite body lotion. So I thought I would just try and figure out a way to make it all work together. And hopefully by the end it does. If you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Okay. I'm going to start at the head and work down to the feet. So my favorite current favorite face moisturizer, and this is just a generic great moisturizer, is the Physiogel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy Facial Lotion. I am still working on my first bottle of this because it is enormous. It's around $28 or so on Amazon, but it is a great moisturizer if you have sensitive skin. There's no fragrance or anything, but it just adds the perfect amount of moisture and glow to the skin without being greasy. Now, my favorite sunscreens for the face, I'm just gonna knock these out as well. You have seen these and heard me talk about both of these, so I'm not gonna go into much detail, but they're both mineral-based sunscreens. And these are my favorite to wear under makeup. So I wear one of these every day. In the winter time, I tend to use the Elta MD UV Elements more. And this is the Broad Spectrum SPF 44. It is tinted. I like the tint on this one slightly better than this one, but this is the Paula's Choice um, Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And why I like this in the summertime is this gives a little bit more of a matte finish to the face. So I feel like it holds up better under really hot weather like we're experiencing right now. So now we're gonna move on to body moisturizers and sunscreen and fragrance. So one of my top long-standing favorite moisturizers is by Soap and Glory and it's called Body Milk. This is the Smoothie Star and I just, I love this brand. They're so cute and creative. When you start reading all the little fine print about things, it kind of cracks me up. So this one describes the scent as almond and vanilla, and I would say that's pretty accurate. There is a pretty strong scent, but I love this and I've used this for years and I feel like this is one that works well even if you have sensitive skin and it is really moisturizing. This is one of my favorites to use especially in the winter time. I feel like this really hydrates the skin well and it makes the skin look healthy and glowy. Now this body lotion is one that I feel like works with a many different scents and just as a reminder for those of you who don't know, I'm very scent sensitive, so my perfume collection is really tiny because there are very few that I can actually handle. But one of those is the Sol Janeiro. This is their original scent. This is the Brazilian Crush. And this one has the pistachio and kind of caramel vanilla. It's not super long wearing, but I find this pairs wonderfully with this lotion. Another one that I just recently picked up, and oh my goodness, I am head over heels. It is by the same brand, but it is their Cherosa 71. And this one has caramelized vanilla and macadamia. So it just has a little more of a sweet scent, actually a lot more sweet scent. This just smells like you're spraying on dessert. So. I love that. Now, for those of you who love a straight up vanilla scent, this is one that I've used for years. It's becoming harder and harder to find, but I have found it on Amazon. It's the Tiki Tahiti Vanilla. And again, one that does not last very long on the skin, but this is pretty much just straight up vanilla. There isn't any floral or musky scent behind it, but just a nice, straight up vanilla scent. And then the last one, believe it or not, that I feel like still works with this is the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. This is one scent that I have had in my collection and purchased many times. It is a stronger, longer lasting scent, and yet it's one that I can still handle. 
And because this has some of that vanilla in it, I feel like it still pairs really well with the body milk. All right, now let's move into coconut scents because as most of you know, I am just nuts for anything that is coconut scented. So two body lotions that I love. Uh, first, this one from Bath & Body Works. Now I'm gonna mention this, but as you know, Bath & Body Works, they do new scents every summer, drives me crazy. But this has been my favorite scent and I think I bought three backups after I tested this. This is the Coconut Pineapple 24 Hour Ultra Shea Body Cream. And this one, through the years, Bath & Body Works has improved their lotion, but I find their body cream to be the best formulation. It is super hydrating. And this one, this is the one I'm wearing right now, and it has no additional scent other than coconut and pineapple. Usually they'll do like their Waikiki beach, whatever scents, you know, like they have four different Hawaiian based ones and they always have that extra something in the background. This one does not and the body wash also is great. However, the fragrance steer clear of the body mist in this formulation. It's terrible. I don't know how they did that, but they took something that's amazing and couldn't make it into a body mist. So when I realized that the body mist was a big fail, I went on the hunt. And what I ended up finding first was this pineapple scent. It was on Amazon. It's by Demeter Fragrance Library. I think that's how you say that. And this is just straight up pineapple. Now, when I was reading the reviews, they said this lasts like five seconds, but it smells great. So then I read several tips and what people were saying to do was to buy pineapple oil and add it to the perfume to make it last longer. Well, then that got me thinking and I'm like, I wonder if there's a coconut oil. Well, what do you know? There sure is. So I purchased couple empty bottles and I mixed my own pina colada scent and I love it. Now it's still not the longest wearing, but every time I spray this on, I just go, oh man, reminds me of being on a beach vacation somewhere. So I definitely highly recommend this if you're into pineapple and coconut. Now, because Bath & Body Works does their limited edition lotion, if you can't get a hold of that lotion, I have another one for you. This is Coco Fiji, and this is face and body lotion infused with raw coconut oil, and this is the pineapple coconut scent. Now, this one has amazing ingredients. So again, it's based off of raw coconut oil, and this one is also super thick, I find that the Bath & Body Works one works into the skin a little quicker, but this one does eventually get there. It has a even better, like just a true pineapple scent with a little hint of coconut, and this is deeply moisturizing. I don't feel like this one gives your, I mean, it does eventually give your skin a little hint of glow, but I don't feel like it remains oily on the skin. Sometimes with coconut oil based products, they can remain oily, but this one I feel like sinks in. Your skin is moisturized, but not oily. And again, I pair that with this DIY scent. Now my fallback scent, if I am not doing something super sweet and vanilla or caramely or almondy, my fallback scent is something fruity. And specifically, I prefer something more in the orange or lemon or grapefruit scent category. So the first one like that is also by Soap and Glory. And this is the Call of fruity. Now this one says it has a blend of mango and coconut oils, papaya, passion fruit, and algae extracts for smooth satisfaction. So again, you got to read all the stuff on here. It's pretty cute. But what I love about this lotion, so this one, it does have um, a fruity scent, but definitely the mango is what I smell more than orange, but it is kind of a bright it's very energizing. I also love the body wash for this. 
What I love this one for, this formulation, it is lighter than the body milk. So this is something that for me personally, I love to use in the summertime when it's hotter or our weather is more humid. This one soaks in quicker. It's not as heavy of a moisturizer and I just love the scent on this. All right, and then the other one, I'll tell you about the other lotion first and then I'll share my favorite perfume for that one. But my other new love this year, and I have bought now I think four or five tubes of this, is the Jergens Body Butter Collection Sweet Citrus. Oh my goodness. When they came out with this, I saw a commercial for this when it first came out and I was like, what? Jergens has a citrus scented lotion? I gotta try it. So it says it's with energizing citrus essential oil. So this one actually contains essential oils. It says it's an uh, ultra hydrating blend of shea, cocoa, and mango butters, deeply nourish your skin, while the alluring essential oils offer the perfect indulgence for your body and mind. So there are, I think, three different scents. My best friend loves this in the rose scent because she's a big fan of rose scented stuff. That's not for me, but this citrus scent is wonderful and it smells just like fresh oranges and orange scented products are known to help energize and lift your mood overall so this is a really good one when i'm extra tired in the morning and i know i've got a lot to get done i will use this specifically because as i'm breathing it in i do feel energized and I just love the scent. This is a super moisturizing, deeply hydrating formula. It does, I would say it's not, it doesn't like soak in to where your skin is dry, but it does soak into the skin, but it does leave a real nice kind of hint of a glow behind on your skin. Again, deeply moisturizing and at a drugstore price. Now this one, I have had trouble personally finding in stores. So I've resorted to buying it pretty much online through Amazon has been my go-to place to find it, but really a great scent and a great lotion. Now my favorite perfume to pair with those two has been this newer perfume, newer to me. It is the We, I believe the French word We, like yes from Juicy Couture. And this one, I I kind of have to go through a process before I try a new perfume. And I sprayed it on a scent card, thought, okay, I'm not getting a headache. Then I carried that scent card around. I'm like, hmm, okay, I really like this still. You know, it's a process. So then when I bought it and I sprayed it on my skin without using the orange lotion, I felt like I wasn't smelling any of the orange that came through it, but paired with that orange lotion, it sits on the skin and I like this after it's soaked into my skin for about a half hour to an hour. It's very long wearing and a little bit goes a long way for me. So one spritz, maybe two total, and that's all. And I can smell it on myself all day, but I feel like this pairs well. It does have orange in kind of the mixture of scents, but another one to check out if you like a little bit of that citrus accent in your perfume. Okay, so let's talk about two of my favorite body sunscreens. I am going to just be real honest. I, up until about two years ago, hated wearing body sunscreen because every sunscreen I would use, I do sunless tanner, you know, to work on my tan, get this really nice glow to my skin. And then I would put on body sunscreen and it would like cancel out. It would make my skin look white or dull. I hated it. And I also hated that feeling of just being sticky. <laughs> So then about two years ago, I'm sure many of you saw um, Scott Barnes do Tati's makeup and he introduced us all to the wonder of the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen. So he uses this just because it makes the body just glow and it does, oh my goodness. So when you spray this on, it adds the most beautiful glow to your skin. So it enhances your tan or whatever you've got. It makes it look good, 
but it's also protecting you. So right now I have the 70, but this comes in 100. It has water resistance for 80 minutes. It's non-greasy, weightless. I love this. And so now I am being a much better girl <laughs> wearing my body sunscreen when I'm out and about because I don't mind applying this. Now, the other one that I discovered this year, I think it was Jessica Braun that talked about this. It's by Copper Tone. This is the Glow with Shimmer. Yes, we've got to have shimmer everywhere, right? And I have SPF 50, but then I also have this in a spray version that's SPF 30. Um, that one's okay for quick, but it does kind of, the glitter particles get a little stuck in there and get a little sporadic every now and then. So this is still my preference, but let me just show you. This has a little hint of color, first of all. So I have enjoyed using this just to even help um, even out my decollete and neck area, but it is so pretty on the skin and it again is going to enhance your skin tone. It's going to enhance if you've got a little bit of a tan, it's going to make it look even that bit more perfected. It does have slight little bits of shimmer particles in here, so be aware of that, but it's not crazy. I mean, it doesn't look like I stepped into a disco ball, you know? So, but this just looks so beautiful. And so I willingly will slather this on, especially if I'm going over to the pool. This is kind of one of my favorites because it makes my skin look better. And it is also water resistant, only 40 minutes on this. So you're gonna to need to reapply more often, but still has that water resistance, which I think is really great. So two body sunscreens that I actually don't hate wearing. All right, now on to hands. Thankfully, through the summertime, I feel like for most of us, our hands don't get quite as chapped and dry as they do in the winter. However, I hope many of us are still washing our hands quite frequently, right? And my favorite hand moisturizer, hands down, this has been my go-to for years. And again, I stockpile it when it's on sale is the Avon Moisture Therapy Intensive Healing and Repair Hand Cream. So Avon has lots of variations of hand creams and hand lotions. This is the only one I love and it's the only one that works for me. Now the way that I regularly use this is at night right before I go to bed. This is a super thick cream there's no fragrance in it, so it is very good if you have super sensitive skin. My best friend's daughter was having just completely cracked knuckles and anything that they put on it would burn. The poor thing was just suffering. And so I sent her home with one of these tubes and it was a lifesaver. Her daughter could use it, it didn't burn. And what it does, because it's so thick, it seals out the air, first of all, but then it really, really deeply hydrates your skin. So the reason why I use this at night is because it is so thick. You're not gonna like to put this on during the day and then try and use your phone or get on your computer because your hands are gonna feel lotiony and sticky. So just don't do that, do it at night and you'll be fine. So what I do is I slather on a good amount. So a large pea sized amount on each hand right before I turn out the lights to get in bed. I slather it on. It's going to remain kind of looking white on the skin. That means you got enough. And it will soak in within a matter of minutes. That white will go away. But what you're gonna find when you get up in the morning and wash your hands, your hands will feel slippery. You will be able to tell immediately that it has done its job. And then during the winter time, if you're experiencing continued dryness through the day, I'll what I'll do is after I've washed my hands and I know I'm not gonna be washing them for a little bit, I'll just put some on the back of my hands and rub it on the backs leave the insides open so that I don't get that greasy feeling and go about my day. And that will help heal 
dry cracked hands in no time. But it's super inexpensive, especially if you wait for it to go on sale. I think the last time I stocked up, I got these for $2.50. So highly, highly recommend. And if you don't have an Avon rep already, I'll leave a link to my Avon rep down below. All right, and now down to the final two products. Now I'm labeling these as care creams. The one I love using on feet, but you can also use it on your calves or any other place you have sore muscles. And that is the Magnesium Lotion by Life Flow. Now I purchased this probably about five years ago or more. That was when we first started using it. And this stuff is just amazing. If you don't know about the wonders of magnesium, uh, check it out, do a Google search, and you will read lots of reports of just the calming effect that magnesium has on your body. But in the lotion form, I first started using this on my husband when he was doing football coaching and standing for hours and his feet were aching and his calves were just tight as can be. So we started using this on his feet and lo and behold, not only did it make his feet as soft as baby skin, but when we would use this, he would notice the next day that his feet and his calves were not hurting nearly as much. Also, he would periodically get cramping in his calves. So if he felt like his calves were extra tight, we would put this on and it would help prevent his calves from cramping. I also have a good friend who suffers with the same issues. And when she uses this, she does not get those cramps. So check into it. But all of those benefits aside, it also helps you kind of sleep deeper. And it is a wonderful moisturizer for your skin. And it smells like vanilla. So, you know, there we are, back to the vanilla scent. So, Magnesium Lotion by Life Flow. This is the only brand I've ever tried. I'm sure there are other brands, but this is my favorite. And then the last one, this is a brand new one that I just got last week. As I'm filming this, it has been less than a week ago that I got stung or bit by a bug. I will insert a picture of what this finger looks like. I filmed a Darlings and Duds video with this awful looking bruise. It has been four days and the bruise is almost completely gone. And that is because I started using this Arnica Bruise Lotion. If you don't know about this stuff, oh my goodness, it is like miraculous. So it is specifically to help calm bruises, redness, and discoloration. It has vitamin K, collagen, and go-to cola. This is just amazing. So I just used a tiny little bit. You can apply it every three hours. And what happens after you rub it in, within about 30 minutes, you'll start feeling this gentle warming sensation, almost kind of like icy hot or something. It's not uncomfortable, but you will feel it warming that area of the skin. And over time, so like I said, this has been four days and it is almost completely, like you can just see a tiny little bit of darkness there and that is it. So I would highly recommend checking this out if you are somebody who bruises easily or you just like me, a little clumsy every now and then and bump into the edge of the desk or the dresser or the chest of drawers, you know. If you're like me, you might wanna have some of this on hand. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope that that was helpful for you if you've been looking for a new body lotion or sunscreen or maybe a new fragrance. Hopefully, one of these that I shared will be enticing for you to check out. As always, I will leave a list and links to all of these products that I talked about in the description box below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.